Welcome everybody to Waking Moments with Seth. We're trying different formats here to see what works best. Today I'm just going to briefly slip into the Seth uh, persona, consciousness, talk a bit about what Seth wants to talk about. He's going to talk about uh, divine metaphors uh, and then come out of trance and that will be it. should take about 10 to 15 minutes. <clears throat> mm. Yes, let us begin this discussion for this week. Um, I would like to mention that this information pertains to this uh, moment, uh, the collective moment, mm -hmm. a collective uh, point of power, you might say, in which all of you are participating. By you I mean uh, people interested in this information, people who are looking for it and finding it. We're going to talk a little bit about where you are uh, in this current moment. Uh, divine metaphors are a tool I've used with my new collaborators uh, to more clearly define the reality creation project that we talk about so that you can have something familiar to work with, mm, something to assist you in grasping these uh, very deep. <clears throat> concepts. The publishing metaphor is something that we are familiar with. For we are the creators of books. Uh, and we have a particular end, uh, goal, vision around this publishing project. And that is to help people experience the new consciousness. The new consciousness is a state of consciousness in which you are connected to your higher centers of awareness, <coughs> your guides, etc. is also referred to as the awakening by some people. We refer to it as the awakening of humanity in particular. And so our goal is to uh, provide information on what is going on here in this uh, new uh, experience for humanity. Uh, the awakening. But briefly, you are a reality creator. You know this. Um, you are the literal author of your life. Mm, you, um, as an author, let's say, it's a publishing metaphor. You are an author. Uh, what it's the first thing that you must do. Uh, you ask for inspiration. You consult the muse. Um, you are looking for communications from the divine, from your higher self, when you do that. Mm, if you want to refer to it as the muse. Um, 
if you want to refer to it as your divine self. You say, that is what you're doing. That's where inspiration comes from. It comes from the higher self, you say. So you get what you ask for in the sense that when you ask for inspiration, you find that you are receiving uh, thoughts, images, uh, emotional content, uh, emotions uh, that you were not considering previously. Uh, so new information, inspiration, uh, what you are indeed doing, I suggest, is you are channeling your higher self. Mm, you're asking for guidance. How do I write this book? How do I create this reality of mine in a more improved fashion? Mm. The next task for you as the author of your life, you use this information in a, an experimental form uh, to create your reality, uh, the book, the text. Um, perhaps to make improvements, perhaps uh, to tune up this reality of yours so it more reflects um, what you have in mind, uh, this inspiration. You see? <clears throat> Now you look about you to see the results of your <laughs> projections into the third dimension as a result of receiving this download uh, of inspiration. Uh, and it's improved, let's say, but it needs more improvement to suit your taste. And so as a creator of your world, as the author of the text, you edit. Uh, you see where, for example, you may have been angry with someone. Uh, you may have been short-tempered with them. Uh, and you <clears throat> are ashamed, let's say. Where you're trying to be a person who expresses love, uh, hard energy, you say. And so you edit that out. In a sense, you use the inspiration, uh, the quality of the divine that's flowing through you, to express yourself differently, to behave differently. And so you do. Editing, you say. You're trying to create, uh, I would assume, a more thoughtful, compassionate, loving text <laughs> or reality for yourself. You see? Now let's continue. Um, the current stage, uh, the stage that you're at in the publishing process, <laughs> in this <clears throat> attempt to create an improved reality, in tandem with the divine. Um, in publishing, we call it proofing. You try things out. Uh, you're close to a finished product. And so you try things out. You print uh, an image to see if it uh, suits you, to see if it reflects the vision that you receive. Uh, what are you proving? Well, you're proving to yourself that you are uh, on a path of reality creation uh, that will allow you to uh, improve uh, your personal reality and perhaps also uh, the collective reality. 
So you're ref you're refining the product. You're proving uh, the product. You're and we enjoy this metaphor. You're pushing this reality into uh, physicality. It comes from a an etheric space. Uh, you're using your wherewithal, uh, the great uh, creative capacities of human consciousness, to push it into the physical world. Uh, <clears throat> so proofing, this is where you are now, from my perspective. Uh, and this includes the social, political, uh, economic, and spiritual worlds. And that's where humanity is at this point. Uh, if humanity is awakening at this time, uh, this is the stage that it's at. Now, over time, in the future, let's call it the probable future, uh, gradually your life begins to uh, more fully reflect the original vision that you had, that gift from the divine, from your higher self. And this will occur in the next phase of your development. Now, some of you have already passed that stage. Some of you are, in a sense, in the uh, awakened state, uh, in the new consciousness, waiting for your colleagues to catch up. Uh, you can help by not demeaning, <laughs> um, not criticizing, but loving your partners uh, into this new uh, consciousness, into this new space, you see. As that occurs, the uh, collective uh, consciousness begins to expand and refine itself. Uh, all of the awakening people begin to resonate at this higher frequency. Mm, let's call that publishing when that occurs. The new consciousness, it's certainly not a fixed thing. It's a, an evolving construct, as is everything else in your reality. Mm, but let's treat it as a mm, static concept, just for a moment. Uh, the idea being here that you're publishing your life in its best possible incarnation <laughs> mode, you say. You're publishing your book uh, because it's just the way you like it. Mm, what do you do when you have completed uh, the work, publishing the book? You share it with others. You take it into the marketplace so to speak. And that way others learn from your experience. Uh, these uh, humans who are still perhaps struggling uh, will learn from your experience and <clears throat> join you at some point in the future. Now we're talking about <clears throat> months uh, in the future, over the course of a, uh, a year to two years. I think this awakening event will be solidified at that time. Does that make sense? Uh, I ser sincerely hope so. Now I'm going to ask that you visit our website. Um, we're tuning up that website of ours. Uh, with new information for you. Mm. I know. 
speak to you next week.